I was always addicted to graphic design, fresh logos and beautiful fonts. But have you ever created your own font? Let's do it. Because 26 letters in the same style would be pretty boring, I decided to pick one art style that gives me kinda design inspiration for each letter. So let's start with A, abstract. I can't miss, no Beverly, you can't hold me Knew that it was my time and I need a rolly P139 I played around with some abstract shapes in a fresh purple Every situation different, trust if An eye that is watching, that looks cool You just can't miss this, it's so easy, you be thinking it's absurd So, only 25 letters missing? Oof I'm always scribbling a few ugly sketches while speaking to someone on the phone. So let's use this style for the letter B. A simple idea but I love how it turned out. For the next letter I searched for my old comics. I was a huge Simpsons fan so I started with a cool portrait in the Simpsons style. After placing the portrait on the letter, I added a few more pieces. Feels super nostalgic. My first 3D experience was Lego, so I designed a special thing. And the colors look great. I had to set them straight. It's already evening, but I'm super hyped about this creative topic, so let's continue with the letter E. Elevate, elevate, yeah. when you elevate. Don't forget the details, that looks super nice. Yeah. And here's the result. Ready for school? Wait, yo, way too fly. Uh. I need a fine liner for my next. Uh, no, I picked the apple pencil, but F will be about fine line. Why would I give it up? Why do they want to come take my place? I work too hard for it, don't need a replacement. This my vocation. Now I got rollies all in rotation. Hop on the jet just to take a vacation. It looks pretty simple, but I love the contrast of black and white. The next letter is G, graffiti, and I started with a first research on Pinterest because this is a completely new style. This letter was the biggest step out of my visual comfort zone, but it was totally worth it. The main inspiration for my holographic age was a cool Adobe box in our studio. I tried to create this kind of poster look with a few tapes. The colors look insane. It's already 1am, so let's continue tomorrow. I'm ready for day 2 and we start with I, isometric art. I've never tried a building in this style, but I really enjoy it. Waiting, patient, only thing that I've never been good at. This will be one of my favorite letters. I know, I know, juicy isn't an official art style, but those liquid shapes are so nice. I add some ice cubes and a few stylish leaves to make it even more delicious. And here it is. Before I'll start with my new artwork, I need a new song. Let's open the folder with my first artworks because I'll try to draw the letter K in the same style I had 20 years ago. I'm sure 5 year old Sammy will love it. It's almost evening of a day 2 and time for a quick break and then another night shift. My graphic design addiction is a perfect match with the next topic because we design a clean L based on lines. I don't think they running at my pace. Jordan ones, gotta keep them We all know these black and white IKEA manuals. Let's create the letter M in exactly this style. I don't think they running at my pace. Jordan ones, gotta keep them lace. If she bad, I might have I'm not the best at understanding these manuals, but hey, the design of it looks pretty good. I said I'ma do it, I'ma get it anyways. All I do is work, I got this money, I'ma 
the light setting here in the studio is perfect for the next artwork, Neon. I started with a red neon sign and a cool glow effect. Oil painting, another art style that is a little bit out of my comfort zone, but I decided to pick the legend itself as a reference, The Starry Night by Van Gogh. This took me 3 hours, but it's absolutely worth it. Wow, that was a really prolific day with a few amazing artworks. Let's see if I can continue on this level tomorrow. I started day 3 with my first ever pointillism artwork. I was super hyped till I realized how boring it is to draw simple dots for 3 hours straight. Well. But again, I'm more than happy about the result. Next one, only 10 letters left. We all know these artworks which we stirred with full creative energy and optimism, but then we quit because... Um, After I've quit my last artwork, it's now time for Retro. Let's finish it this time. I guess the next artwork will be my fastest one. S is for a sketch. Yeah. Look, tell me what's the vibes, what's the moves? Yeah, I just hit a mic key for the juice. And here it is. No captain, I'ma tell the truth. I've been winning for so long, it's hard to lose. I don't have any tattoos, but I love the characteristic style of it, so let's turn it into the letter T. After completing the base, it's time to add the tattoos. Okay, our next artwork will be unique. I'm drawing six random lines in different colors. The only challenge is that they look like a U at the end. A few shadows and here it is. That was a very successful day with a few of my favorite letters so far. Let's see what tomorrow brings. Day 4 and we start with a best of, a variation of my favorite letters. A few final adjustments. Oof, this one looks really cool, I hope the next artwork has the same drip. The watercolor effect in Adobe Fresco is stunning, so I played around. I picked red and blue based on the color palette we used so far. Now I can use the eraser to get the shape I want. Um, you've never heard about this art style? Maybe it's because I came up with this one 5 minutes ago, but if you read it backwards, you have the word flex, so let's do it. It was super hard to find a topic with X, so I decided to cheat a little bit, but hey, I love it. Goix was and still is a huge inspiration for my content and so I decided to try his remarkable style. The outline is done and we need some colors. Oof, that looks nice. Fun. 
I create a shape out of different squares with the same size but different types of blow. Wow, what a cool and creative journey. This was by far the coolest artwork I've ever worked on. And now it's finally your turn because let me know in the comments which of those letters is your favorite. Thanks for watching and here is the final result.